All right, so we talked about um, the sensory receptors. We talked about the cutaneous innervation. And the second type of sensory innervation is musculoskeletal innervation. So we have um, the, just like the uh, cutaneous innervation is telling us about touch, press, and, uh, pressure, and stretch, um, the axon that convey musculoskeletal sensory signals um, are telling us about the length of muscles. Um, so they are classified using Roman numerals from 1 to 4. Um, the large ones are types 1 and 2, and the small ones are types 3 and 4. On page 194 um, ta is table 10.1. That is a really nice little summary of um, all the different axon classifications and what their stimulus and receptors um, and designation are for proprioception, cutaneous innervation, and nociception. So that's a nice little table that sort of puts it all together. Um, it's a good way to think about it. So we're going to talk a little bit about it, not too much detail. So the muscle spindle consists of um, muscle fibers, sensory endings, and motor endings. So when I was talking about the big picture, we get sensory information, it goes to the central nervous system for processing, and then we get motor output. It all happens in the muscle spindle. Um, I mean, we get the entire chain to and from the central nervous system, so it's pretty cool. The sensory endings of the spindle respond to stretch. So we have two pieces of information um, in the muscle fiber regarding stretch. We have the actual length of the muscle and we have the rate of change of length of the muscle. So we have two different fibers, the 1As and the 2s, that are telling us those different things. So the 1A is telling us the length of the muscle and the 2 is telling us the rate of change of length of the muscle. So they're both responding to stretch but that's how they're responding to. So Remember back in kinesiology when we talked about the shapes of muscles and one of the shapes was fusiform, which is sort of fat in the middle and tapered on the ends, kind of like the biceps? Well, the inside of the muscle fiber, the sensory muscle part, uh, I mean the sensory nerve ending part of the muscle fiber is called the intrafusal fibers. Um, so, and then the, the um, skeletal muscle part of it is the extrafusal muscle fibers. And so the, that fusiform area in the middle, that's where the um, innervation um, gets input. So the intrafusal fibers, so that's the nervous system part of the muscle fibers, they're contractile only at the ends. The central region can't contract. Um, so the central region is where those 1A fibers are going in and they're telling us just the length, like that's all they're telling us. Um, the, so there are two different kinds of intrafusal fibers and you really don't need to know this specifically. Um, just know that there are two different kinds. And there are two different kinds of sensory nerve endings. So the primary endings of type 1A neurons wrap around the central region of each intrafusal fiber, and they're telling us the length of the muscle. The secondary endings of type 2 afferents are mainly on the nuclear chain fibers adjacent to the endings, and those are telling us the rate of change. Okay, so just the one in the middle is the 1A, and that tells us the length. And the, the type 2, they tell us the rate of change of length. Um, so this is a little um, diagram from the book. The first one is during a passive stretch, we're getting information from the 1A saying that the muscle's lengthening. Um, and then, the, so in these pictures, the blue is the sensory neuron and the red is the motor neuron. So um, you actually get interaction between the sensory and the motor neuron, and we will talk about this more in the motor chapter. Um, we'll add that motor piece and then we'll bring it all together. This is just sort of the introduction. And just really all I want you to know is that there are those two different types, the 1A and the 2 of the sensory neurons, and they're both attached to the intrafusal fibers of the muscle. 
and it's called the muscle spindle, and they're giving us information about muscle length and the rate of change of muscle length, okay? So, we, we also have Golgi tendon organs. So Golgi tendon organs, um, it's a sensory ending that relays to us tension in the tendons. So the Golgi tendon organs um, are the 1B fibers, and they are sensitive to very slight changes in tension um, on a tendon. They respond to tension exerted both by active contraction and passive stretch of the muscle. So remember, the 1A fibers, they responded to, to passive stretch, but Golgi tendon organs respond to passive stretch and by active muscle contraction. So they're giving us some proprioceptive information as well. So a lot of our um, conscious and unconscious or non-conscious proprioception comes from the Golgi tendon organs. So the um, joint receptors, the muscle, res the muscle spindles respond to quick and prolonged stretches of the muscles. So they respond to stretch. Tendon organs or Golgi tendon organs or GTOs um, signal the force generated by the muscle contraction or passive stretch of the tendon. So muscle spindles respond to stretch, quick or prolonged. Um, tendon organs respond to muscle contraction or stretch. And joint receptors respond to mechanical deformation of joint capsules and ligaments. So that, those three together are giving us tons of information um, of where our body is in space, what's going on. So the afferents associated with joint receptors are ligament receptors type 1B, um, Ruffini and Pessiniform endings type 2s, and free nerve endings type 3 and 4. So the muscle spindle is, are those 1A and type 2 fibers. The Golgi tendon organs are the 1B fibers. And the joint receptors have 1Bs, type 2s, and type 3s and 4s. So when you look at that chart on um, page 194, it sums these all up. So all of those, the muscle spindles, the tendon organs, and the joint receptors are giving us valuable information about muscle length, tendon tension, and um, joint position. So when we did the um, testing and test and measures class, where you had the person close their eyes and you said, is your arm up or down? Is your finger up or down? Here's the, the um, nervous receptors that were giving us that information. Interesting, right? So it all connects back. 